But hi everybody. Hi John. Welcome to coming out of the dark Bible study. I want to thank everyone for coming on tonight to get a portion of God's word. Amen. Amen. And of course, we're going to thank the biggest celebrity of the night, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for going to that cross and dying for our sins, Lord, and giving us a new Amen. life and a purpose here on planet Earth. We're so grateful for what he did for us. Amen? Amen. I'd like to thank the Anchor Recovery Community Center for letting us have our study in their facility. We're grateful for this, right? Paul? All right, Rob. All right, Paul. Beautiful. Beautiful job he did, right? Look at the job Alan did of that picture. Right, Alan. Right, Alan. Right, Alan. Right, Alan. One body. Many parts. Many parts. Amen. We're grateful for the people who come in early to yeah. set this all up. Amen. Amen. Thank you, and Bobby. Thank you. We're very appreciative of that. The greeters at the door that greet us. Wayne. Wayne. Bobby. Bobby. Everybody was there. I got to tell you, I never feel more welcome than when we come here, right? Amen. The love of Jesus, right? That's right. Um, we're just so grateful for that. The prayer warriors will go in the back. Amen. Thank you. Thank Amen. you. Amen. The prayer book is over there. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. If you have any prayer requests, please fill it out. Put them in there. You'll get prayed for. We fight a lot of our battles through prayer. Amen. That's right. We're grateful for that. Mary, thank you for the coffee. Oh, Amen. 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 Brittany's going to sing tonight. Right. Yeah. 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 Let's Praise see if we can Lord. get this connected. Doreen, are you trying to connect us? Yeah, yeah let's get it going here. Yeah. Thank you, Doreen, for faithfully doing the phone ministry. Thank you, Doreen. Yeah. We are connected. Thanks, Doreen. Uh -huh. Eric does the YouTube theme oh, for right us. There, right. Thank you, Eric. Good job, Eric. Thank you for that. Cindy writes these uh, uh, principles right, up for us. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. It's so good, like we can be like a family, right? Singing yeah, together. Right. Plus, it's me, one body, many parts. Brittany does an awesome job leading the, the music ministry, so yeah. we're grateful yeah. for her. Thank you, Cindy. I'm sure Nick is on his way to do the Facebook. <laughs> <group. laughs> Somewhere. He'll be here. The ghost, the ghost is coming. Hey, God is full of love, yeah. grace, and mercy, yeah. right? Yeah. So are we. Right? The security, Kenny's going to watch the door. All right, Kenny. Kenny. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. He's a little bit under the weather. He still showed up anyway. We're grateful God for that. You. Thank you. Thanks, Kenny. One body, many parts, right? Amen. Amen. Such a blessing to see us all gather, right? Yep. Yeah. To talk about Jesus. Amen. Amen. We do have a donation thing in the back there. If God is writing on your heart to want to give and support this so we can keep it going, please do so. Second Amen. Corinthians 9, 7 clearly states in our Bible, you must each decide in your heart how much to give. And don't give reluctantly in response to pressure for the Lord loves a... So when you're digging in your pocket, laugh and smile and be happy. Because God's, God's the one who provided all that money for you anyway. Amen. Amen. That's right. So we're grateful for that. We're grateful for everybody here tonight, right? We are collecting for a building fund. Everybody here tonight. If you have a cell phone, please put it on vibrate. Oh yeah, you're gonna leave it on for the pizza yeah. guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's bow our heads for a quick prayer. 
Dear Heavenly Father, Abba, we come before your throne of grace, Lord. Thankful and grateful, Lord, for the birth of our Savior, the Lord Jesus. Thank you for sending him to us, Father. Thank you for sending us the Holy Spirit into our hearts, Lord. Help us be, let's be a time of giving and sharing and loving one another and showing Christ through us. Not only the birth of Jesus in the flesh, but the birth of Christ in us also, Lord. What an awesome opportunity that we have in this day and age to show you through us as living testimonies. Let us put any distraction that the world and the devil might try to put into our hearts so we can get the message clouded. Let everything we do, do tonight be led by your spirit and not our flesh. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. What's going on? I see everybody here tonight happy and joyful, right? Amen. The birth of our Savior, Christmas time. It seems to stir up the best in people, the Christmas season, doesn't it? Yep. Yes. But, you know, we could always have that every day. It doesn't always have to be wait until Christmas to be happy and joyous and giving and sharing. Because we have to understand Christmas is about the birth of Jesus. Amen. Right? But it's not also about his birth. It's about our rebirth also. Amen. Because because Jesus was born, we were able to get born again also. Very, very important. We ought to celebrate that. We're born again. We are Hallelujah. born into God's family because of the birth of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. All to him I owe. Sin had left his uh, crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. And it's all about love. God so loved the world that he gave his only one and only son. That anyone who believed in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen? Our eternal life. Amen. We have eternal life right now as believers in Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen? Hallelujah. All right, let's go to 1 Corinthians 13 because you know what? This is really what it's all about. And I know most of you already know it by heart. <laughs> but you can put it in front of you so you don't trip up. That's as a as as a refresher. All right, verse four. My brother Wayne gave me this thing right here. But the fruit of the spirit is love, patience, joy. Right. Faithfulness, peace, self-control. Isn't that why we're, we're, we're born again and we have all that now? Yes. We have the joy of the Lord in us. Hallelujah. We have all the fruits of God's Spirit residing in each and every believer's heart tonight because of the birth of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. He's the one that we recognize. Apostle Paul said, I know nothing good lives in me, in my sinful nature. I have the desire to do what is good, but I can't carry it out. Who will save me from this body of sin and death? Thank God it's in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. He's the one that changes us. He's the one that saves us. He's the one that gets the glory, not ourselves. Amen. Pride is against God. Right. Oh, look how good I am. Look at all the good things I do. Yeah, no, we do good things because of the blood of Jesus. Because we have His fruit residing in us. Amen. We want to do good things. Like when we gather tonight, we want to share. We want to have a nice meal. We want to read the Bible together. We want to be together. Not because we have to, because we want to. Right. Whole Amen. different motive. This, this, this church here is not about robotics. Right. We come here because we want to, not because we have to. Right. Religion tells you you have to go to church. Yeah. You have to come on Sunday. You have to do this, and you have to do that. No, Jesus came so we can want to do this, and want to do that, and not have to do it. We do it because we want to. Whole different motive. Amen. Not to get accepted because we already are accepted. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're accepted into God's family. God sees us like he sees Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, we ready? Yep. Verse 4. Let's see. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable. And it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice. But rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. 
never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. Wow. Amen. Do you realize by being born again and having Jesus in us, we can endure to every circumstance. Every circumstance. Now you know that people go through a lot of stuff in their lives, right? Mm -hmm. But the Bible says, just because you don't feel like your endurance is there, you have the endurance to persevere. If you think about it, think about all the stuff you go through in the course of a week. And you say, wow, I can't handle this. But somehow, you get up every day and you are handling it. You say you can't, but you are handling it. You're here, you're alive, you're reading the Bible, you're coming to Jesus. You're still doing it, even though you feel like you're not. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That's a spiritual awakening. We are now born again. We are awakened into God's family. He loves us. He's never going to leave us nor forsake us. He's going to be with us through the whole journey. Hallelujah. We can Hallelujah. celebrate that moment in time. Never forget it. Now, you know we're going to take a little break from Proverbs tonight because it's all about Jesus tonight. Amen. And we're not going to go the whole time so we can spend time together because that's part of the birth of Christ. Celebrating together. Having something to eat. Fellowship. And that's part of the message. The Lord's Supper. We're going to have the Lord's Supper tonight. But Amen. we're not going to be celebrating just his death. We're going to be celebrating his birth too. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I don't know about you, but I, I, you know, the more I see the wretchedness of my sinful nature in action in my life, the more I love my Savior who saved me from it. Amen. Because I can see the ugliness of my sin nature now that I'm born again. I don't see the ugliness of other sin natures as much as I see the ugliest, ugliness of my own. When you're, still, when you're still seeing the ugliness of other people's sin nature, you're still in denial of your own sin nature. So we understand as we grow, we say, you know what? I ain't no better than anybody else. Jesus came to what? Take away the sins of the world. Amen? Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Now, we're going to talk about the true meaning of Christmas. I want to leave this, this message open. And I want you to be comfortable and relaxed tonight, okay? For the pressures of life. Just, I want you to just rejoice tonight, okay? <laughs> just breathe. Just breathe. Because I know Christmas gets crazy. Listen, Christmas gets crazy in the world. Yeah. You gotta get this. I gotta get that. Did I get all my Christmas shopping done? Did I make the list? Did I do this? Did I do that? And like, where's Jesus in the, equa in the equation? No, but he's there because he's part of it. Believe me, he's part. Jesus is in everything, okay? When you say, what's Christmas all about? And people will tell you, Christians will say, oh, it's all about Jesus. Well, yeah, of course it is. That's a great answer. It is all about Jesus, but guess who Jesus is? Everything that's in here. Amen. Okay? Now just listen. What is the true meaning of Christmas? Ask random people on the street, and you probably get at least a dozen different answers. Even Christians will give you different answers. Some might say Christmas is about giving. Christmas is about family and loved ones. Christmas is about being kind to strangers. Christmas is a church holiday. Christmas is about Jesus. And all of these answers would be correct. Because you have to say, Jesus is all loving and he's giving. Jesus is all about us having family. See, it's all about Jesus. But everybody thinks it's not just this one. Th Jesus is everywhere, everything. Family, love, and fellowship in church, everywhere. God so loved the world. So you said Christmas is about Jesus. Yeah, it's about giving. It's about what? Being kind to strangers. What is, he, what is God trying to show us? The love of Jesus. Look, we're born again. Now's the perfect time to let people see Jesus coming through you. Because now you're born again also. You realize because Jesus was born? So you could be born again into God's family and have all the fruits of the Spirit manifest in your life. And now, what a greater time to do it, portray it, than today. Amen. It is all about Jesus. Jesus is what? Love. Grace, peace, kindness, 
gentleness, self-control. So if you say, I want, it's all about Jesus. Yeah, it's all about all these things. So everybody has their own list. Time to put, tonight, listen to me, put your opinions aside about what you think it's about the birth of Jesus, or what your agendas are in life, about this, or what I believe in my thing. No, it's all about Jesus, okay? Put all that other nonsense aside, because this is really what it comes down to. Right. It's about Jesus, okay? Yes. Now, we all have our issues and our ideas and our opinions, but tonight, it's about the birth of our Savior. And guess what? Not only the birth of our Savior, but celebrating us being born again, too. There's something different in each and every one of us tonight that is not in the, in the world. People that are not believers do not have what we have. What not a better time to show them that we really have it instead of what? Getting angry and, and getting bitter and getting in traffic and, and flipping out. Instead of saying, well, I'm going to be patient today, kind. I want people to see Jesus today because it's his day. We represent who? A risen Christ. Mm -hmm. A risen Savior. He was born to die so we could live forever. What not a better time to show that? But Christians, myself, get caught up in what? The world system, right? Traffic, <laughs> gifts, <laughs> cards. Who's this? Is there enough paper on this? Is there, did I give them the right gift? I hope they're happy. But guess what? It's okay to feel that way because look, because something's inside of us. We want to make people happy. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to make us happy. Amen. There's nothing wrong with you giving something to someone because you want to and because you love them. The world's got it all twisted. They do it for the wrong motive, but we do it for the right reason. We love each other, and we appreciate each other, and we give gifts to each other like they gave gifts to Jesus when he was born. Amen. There's nothing wrong with that. Christians get way out of whack with this. Oh, it's not a time of more giving and Christmas trees, this, that, and the other thing. The Apostle Paul said, I become all things to all men to get them to Jesus. It really doesn't matter. We're Christians, and we're called to what? Be living sacrifices for God, put our opinions inside, and serve the risen Christ. So we can say, hallelujah, Jesus lives in me. I want to do that for you. Oh, you didn't have to. I know I didn't have to. I wanted to. And I'm not expecting anything in return. See, the world, when you give a gift, they're waiting for theirs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right? And then, one year, you give somebody something and they don't give you something, next year it comes, well, you don't give them nothing either. <laughs> now, do you see the difference what I'm talking about? Even though we're saying we're giving something to someone, we're still expecting something in return. Well, they could at least give me a card, or did this, or did that. Well, you had the wrong motive about giving. You Amen. give because you love them and want them to have it. Right. Not to let them feel guilty that they didn't buy you enough or do not, or spend as much as you did. That's right. Amen. But that's what the world heaps on us. I want to one-up on them. I want to make sure they get more than I get. You know what I mean? That's just the way it is. That's not about that. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, right, that he gave his one and only Son. Christmas commemorates... The birth of Jesus. The greatest gift that has ever been given to anyone at any time was the birth of Jesus. That's the greatest gift Amen. you could ever receive. Hallelujah. Salvation. Hallelujah. Any gift that we give with love is a reflection of our Creator who first gave to us. Right? He first gave to us. While we were still sinners, yet Jesus died. He gave up his life for us as sinners. Or do we not give up our lives for our love? How do you show that you have the love of Jesus in you? You show it in, uh, by helping others and doing things for other people. That shows people Christ. Not, well, I'm not going to do this, and I'm going to do that. A bunch of miserable, grumpy Christians at Christmas time. Talk about Ebenezer Scrooge. Ebenezer Scrooge became a Christian after his spirit. 
<laughs> and then he started giving, right? But there's Christians that went the opposite way. They used to give, and then there's Christians that, oh, I don't believe in Christmas. I don't believe in all that stuff. So I don't shoot back. No, that's just an excuse not to do anything nice for somebody. <laughs> Rigid, legalism, legalistic, and ungodly. Amen? Amen. Do you love each other here? Yes. You can tell we do, but we don't we're not we don't pick at each other here. <laughs> Some of us still have resentments and we get bitter at the word of God. But that's okay. That's not gonna stop me from proclaiming it. Or you might even get bitter towards me. But that's okay too, because I still love you. Jesus, people were bitter towards Jesus all, all the way through his life. And he did nothing but what? Good. Apostle Paul says, the more I love you, it seems like the more you hate me. That's the way it works. It doesn't get reciprocated enough. And you know what happens to people saying, well, it's not worth it for me to serve God because, look, they don't appreciate nothing. Wrong heart. Wrong heart. We do it because we want to do it. Amen. We don't have to do it. We don't have to get anything in return. We just keep on keeping on. Just like Jesus keeps loving us. Amen. Unconditionally. We have to get to our Christian heads that it's unconditional that we do these things. We do these things because we want to do these things. Amen. It shows us, even ourselves, that Christ lives in us. That's right. And there's other times where Christian shows that the devil's living in you. By, I'm not coming, I don't believe this, and I'm this all pet peeve stuff that divides people. We're here to what? Unify and love each other Amen. because Jesus was born for us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Christmas is about family and loved ones. Right? I could use John 3.16 again to illustrate this point. We are God's family. He created us so we can have someone to fellowship with. He sent Jesus so we could become his spiritual children in this fallen world. You realize? We're his spiritual children in this fallen world. That's why he tells not to forsake the gathering. Because we need to what? We need to stay connected to feel that because the world is very fallen right now. Yes, sir. especially America. Yep. If you realize how this um, this country was breathed, there's churches everywhere. And now they're trying to take God out of it. We're mm -hmm. trying to what? We're trying to keep it together. Mm -hmm. Right. We're not going to bend here. Right. To meet the need for that, we're going to what? Give people love and grace and peace and kindness. <laughs> right. Sin is still sin, but Jesus is a Savior. Amen? We need a Savior. Amen. Who doesn't need a Savior every day? <laughs> Do that. Raise your hand again. Only one, only one person needs a Savior today. <laughs> wow, I guess everybody else is doing pretty good. Oh, I need a Savior. <laughs> I guess every nobody's day. paying attention. <laughs> she is. Hallelujah. Because just, just getting up in the morning, I need a Savior. A savior from who? For myself. Amen. For me. I need a savior from myself. <laughs> now we can go like this. Yeah, now I get it. It's not you, it's not them, it's me. That's why I need Jesus. Oh my goodness. Amen. Wake up, saints. <laughs> Look, I want to keep this real informed because we are a family, okay? God's word always gets respect, but we are his family, amen? amen. It's okay to be happy. It's okay.